Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Our big news today, of course. Oh, what, that I'm wearing this swimsuit? No, the big news today is it's Tuesday and Jackie Chan is back on. But what? Yes, I know, it's kind of crazy. He's on again, off again. I guess it kind of depends on what news you're hearing. But you know what, there's one thing for certain is Jackie Chan is alive and well. His fan base is there and they all want to see Jackie in more action films. So it looks like he's doing it. Or was the media just not, were they behind a step or were they reporting it inaccurately? Or was he misunderstood? Well, there's one thing. When they hold press conferences and they follow up with Twitter and Facebook and they speak for themselves, hmm, maybe that's the truth. Unless somebody else is doing it for them. That does sometimes happen, doesn't it? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Mm -hmm. And yet another bad day for the Obama campaign. Well, I don't know why whenever we have bad news that and Rex is coming out because everybody knows Rex worships the ground that the president walks on. Actually, him and Bill O'Reilly used to. Bill O'Reilly doesn't worship the ground anymore after one of the miscues was uh, a bunch of the Occupy people basically decided to uh, go after Bill O'Reilly and a bunch of children, his family. So that was not a smart move because Bill O'Reilly basically notified the people that he's not happy and he wants a criminal investigation. And if they won't do it, he's going to do it himself into looking who's funding these people. He's going to blow the whistle on them. Ooh, but that then, was not a good thing. And then the next campaign problem was was the rep, uh, uh, Mayor Booker was against Obama, then he's for Obama. No, I never said, I didn't change what I said. I said that, you know, this and then they're using his ads against him. So that's two things. Third thing is um, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals is going to take a, a, a sabbatical over in Hawaii and they're going to be there for a couple of days that have nothing to do with the, they get that, you know, dancing and, and partying and all that stuff. Then we come to number four, the, the Labor Relations Board basically, <coughs> one of their people that they knew is a hard line Democrat because he used to be the counsel for the, for the uh, unions. We're going to hold union elections and that until this country becomes union and our, all the, we'll be creating jobs when we become union. Um, uh -huh. Put it this way, they are walking back from everything, as, and including, well, they found out, oh, there's a fifth one, poor kid. It seems that Bain Campbell has contributed to the Obama campaign. Oh. And that he has just had a ton of people that do uh, lending like Bain Campbell is as supporters, and they're, on, they're in his cabinet. So he's happy, he's still standing firm. But when Obama stands firm, it means he's going to change his opinion. Well, as they, uh, well, okay, this is what I say. The president doesn't flip-flop. The president evolves. Oh, what's the difference? There isn't, oh. Okay, anyone else flip-flops, Obama evolves. Oh, and Biden attacks Romney tenure as venture capitalist. I know, and they said a great percentage of the money that the president gets us from the venture capitalist people. And he said that he he is basically pissing off his base. Uh, okay, remember the money he got from doing the gay announcement with George Clooney? What? That's the only money he's basically got since then because nobody is donating to his campaign anymore. Oh, are you serious? Oh, they said that uh, it looks like as of right now, uh, it looks like Romney is going to have, uh, there, there's not going to be that much of a difference between the Obama campaign funds and the Romney because Obama has done nothing but make everyone angry at him. Well, I need that, you know, those little guys, those little guys happen to be Latino and Afro-American voters. They don't like Obama. They said, well, he's still going to win their vote, but he's only going to get 50% of what he was expecting now. Ooh. And Russia's chess game without any rules. Well, yeah, because the Russians basically, um, the communist government is taking back control in, in Russia again. I mean, and the President of the United States knew it. The President of the United States made no objection to it. And the President of the United States is a, a, helping them move along. I mean, to show you the contempt they have for our President, they didn't even bother to show up with people for the, the money summit because, uh, well, the United States is a collapsing nation. And NATO demonstrators marched through Chicago. But I'll guarantee you that they would, it was a peaceful march. No police officers were hurt. No lives were threatened. No bomb threats were made. And it was legal. Well, none mm -hmm. of the above. Uh huh. And the U.S. trainer shot in Yemen. An army advances on militants. 
Yeah, because the problem is that Yemen is basically the, it's like the center ground for, you'd think that if things were bad in, in Afghanistan, these people are walking around free over in Yemen. Hmm. And UN nuclear agency chief heads to Tehran. Look, you know, okay, Obama has a brand new plan. You can make all of your nuclear stuff as long as you promise me like the North Koreans do. It's for peaceful purposes only. Uh -huh. And if you tell me it's for peaceful purposes only, I will believe everything you tell me because I know you would not lie to me because I am a Muslim. <laughs> yeah, yep. you believe that one. FBI, one person sent hundreds of powder-filled envelopes. Yeah, that, that's the people's weird sense of humor is to send flour and things. Are you serious? Oh, yeah, just like the other day. Okay, I was listening to the people this morning. They found a whole bunch of marijuana. They, they found marijuana off the coast of the United States, but they found it in the back of a truck. Package after package after package of marijuana. They knew it was marijuana. It smelled mm -hmm. like marijuana. And then they tested it. Somebody uh, with a warp sense of humor packed and uh, packed up oregano and catnip. What? Yeah, and they smoked a marijuana cigarette in the back of the truck. And they took, they grabbed what? it, they arrested the people, tossed them in jail, confiscated the stuff, and then found out it was nothing but wrapped packages of oregano and catnip. They, last time, the, the lawyer basically is suing the people. He wants to know the name of the informant, and they have to tell him because. Uh, you know, they, they're, you know, you know, there is no law against, you know, packaging uh, oregano and catnip in brown paper bags. Why do you want oregano and catnip? <laughs> uh, because it was a setup to get the Drug Enforcement Administration, which uh. basically, you know, and he, you know what, the, uh, the, here's one, Obama's health people, the health police are on the way. They raided a, a high school in, in, in Utah for having an, un, uh, an illegal Coke machine on the premises. Coca-Cola? Yeah, Coke machine, a regular, they were dispensing soda pop in violation of His Royal Highness Obama's health rules and fined them $15,000. But they said the problem was is they staged a full-scale assault on the school, basically treated the children like they were thugs, and then confiscated a soda pop machine as being against the Obama rules. Um. And you don't think he in, he's not going to... Okay, a guy that would send the enforcement agency into a high school... To get the Coca-Cola machine. He's going, to, he's going after every fast food restaurant oh, in this country. If you elect him president, you're screwed, folks. And Rubio on Romney's VP. I'm curious to see who it's going to be. Well, nobody wants to be his VP. That's what is coming out now. He, he basically, everybody is telling him no. They do not want to be a VP. Ooh. Well, because um, they, they do not want to be, they don't want, nobody wants to go through the Sarah Palin thing now, so. Well, they, they put her through the ringer. I know, but they know that the, they know the press on the other side and the Republican press are going to, they're not going to like whoever gets picked. So remember, it was the Republican press that gave Sarah Palin the worst time. Not the Democrats. Oh my gosh, the Pavarotti manager Herbert Breslin died dead at 87. Big deal. He was 87 years old. Most people my age are dead by now. Mm -hmm. Man survives 180 foot plunge over Niagara Falls. A lot of people have survived plunges over Niagara Falls. They're not in a barrel, but they fell over the falls. Oh really? They well, just fell? He fell over the falls. They, they, like, what happens if you don't hit the rocks? You're in good shape. A lot of, but then again, of course, there's the fact that bubbling water and you drown. But and why ex Rutgers student got 30 day sentence in spy cam case? Because it was nothing more than an invasion of privacy. To put it this way, they found him guilty of 15, 14 counts, and nothing was a felony. There was oh, an really? invasion of privacy. There's nothing illegal about taping people in that state, so they give him a 30 day jail sentence, which the, uh, the, he's appealing, and then the courts, the uh, Justice Department, we're going to try that young man. And, try, and put him behind bars like he belongs. Well, that was okay. They do not. A gay rights movement is dead in this country. Obama killed him with his great announcement that he supports um, gay marriage. So he buried the movement. Mm -hmm. And why ex Rutgers student got 30 day sentence in spy cam case? Well, I just said why. Oh, that's right. Columbia Secret Service prostitution. I know. Can you tell my mind tends to wander sometimes? Yeah. Even when I hear them, what happened? Um, Columbia Secret Service prostitution scandal spreads to the DEA. 
Yeah, okay, I, I know I tell people, but Rob's not here. Okay, he can hear this, he's old enough. When my father was a police officer, they used to have prostitution problems. When, the, when my grandfather came to this country in the 19th century, they had prostitution problems. I, when my don't they call that one of the oldest professions? Yeah, they all, okay, police officers, it's real easy for authorities to pick up girls. Yeah, yeah they're the informants. Yeah. <laughs> and a Monty Bubble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, if you're a Republican, you <laughs> flip-flop. If you're a Democrat, you evolve. And people said, didn't the Neanderthal involve? No, he, he just simply ceased to exist.